I, you know, I was an obsessive chess player in my youth. So I'm going to assume you've seen the movie already. I'm not going to go, you know, let's have a little, let's get on the same page. I love the interaction with Beth and the, and the place, some of the place. I love the opening scenes when uh, Beth goes down and meets Shai Bell, the janitor. He gives her no encouragement to play chess. She's so determined to learn the moves. Nothing will stop her. Uh, I love that obsessive behavior. I loved when, uh, I love the end of the movie when, when uh, I'm going to skip to the end. When Beth has won the tournament, she's in the car with the government handler, and he says to her, oh, you, you're gonna, on the way, when we arrive in America, you're going to be meeting the President of the United States, you're going to be meeting uh, these gov you know, government officials, you know, some Russian dissidents. She gets out of the car. She decides to be in charge of her own life, and she, she goes to the park, and she's a bunch of elderly gentlemen playing chess for the love of the game. And they recognize her. And she plays. And then you wonder, what's going to happen to Beth? Is she going to continue playing chess or she's going to become a mathematician like her mom? Uh, I love the part, the great part, when she's playing uh, Borgoff and she gets a phone call. It's all her former um, lovers and uh, competitors, and they want to help her. It could be a jarring game. Fantastic. I like the, uh, one of my favorite scenes is when she's bouncing around a little bit. When she's still uh, living in the, uh, the orphanage, and uh, Sh Shayla, or whatever his name, Shayla, he invites the, uh, the teacher from the chess club in the high school, local high school to come down and play uh, the game with Beth. And he doesn't even tell Beth what's going on. In a way, it was a wonderful thing that he was doing, but he wasn't including her in the decision-making process, you see. And uh, the guy came down, and Beth was playing the game. At one point, she gets up, and she walks away, and she stares into the camera, and the guy is puzzling over a move. He makes a move. Now she's playing blindfold chess. She, she, she's memorized the board. This is the first indication she can play blindfold chess. So, uh, I guess looking at the board when, on some of her drug-induced states, it's like blindfold chess. So then he makes a move. She folds her arms, not even looking at him, not even looking at the board. She says... Mate in three. Mate in three. And he realizes what a fantastic player is. And then he sets up a simultaneous with the chess club in school. He doesn't ask his permission. He just does it. So even though it's great for Beth that she's getting um, some attention, people recognizing her chess playing ability, she's still a 12-year-old kid. She's still decisions are made for her. I love the, I love Jolene, what a great character, you don't see much of her. I like the way, it's amazing how Jolene gives her the money, lends her the money to have her go uh, to play chess in Moscow. It's a black woman, black young woman. I like the, um, the scenes with uh, Benny Watts. And Beth, where one scene really got me. Many wants to convince Jeff, uh, Jeff, uh, Beth to go to New York. <laughs> and he tells her he's going to give her training and all that. And they go to her, her apartment. Her apartment, his apartment is like two levels down, like a basement apartment plus one. There's not even a bed for her. Not even a bed for, for Beth. And he gives her an air mattress. He doesn't even blow it up. She bought up the air mattress with a pump. What does that mean? She doesn't need any help from him. She doesn't need any, doesn't need any men. 
She doesn't need, he's on her own. She's learned to be very independent. That was very interesting. So, you know, in a way, uh, before I say anything else, I want to say that it reminds me a little bit of uh, Wonder Woman, or these movies that, that um, I glorify women, but, you know, show here, hero, present heroic women. Now, Wonder Woman, there's no backstory. Or maybe she was born on the planet or something. But the backstory of Beth is that um, she's a, a drug addict. And she overcomes that to uh, become a grandmaster or grandmistress. What else did I like about the movie? Well, that's the main the main thing I really love is the uh, her setting up for herself. You know, and also I like that one thing was one scene where she rejects the uh, some the money from some religious organization. They wanted her to say some negative things about Russia. She didn't want to do that. And she studied Russian. She studied Russian. Why did she do that? To understand, to be able to read, understand uh, the chess games that, that occurred in Russia. Well, um, and of course the chess games themselves, the, the way they played out, the banging of the pieces, and the that, was the, that seemed so real. And I understand from uh, the, the, the bet that... Uh, I think her name is Joy. Joy. She, she learned how to play chess. And they memorized all the moves of the games. It was all very authentic. Well, of course, I love the relationship between Shai Bell and Beth and how sad the sad ending when she didn't get to see her, you know, fully uh, reach her a peak. But I remember one time, and he was so mean to her in the beginning. And one time he said to her, You're amazing. You're amazing. What an amazing woman. He was very instrumental in getting getting her moving. Well, my friend, um, my friends, that is. That is my comment. That's my, my comments on uh, on Queen's Gambit on Netflix. I highly recommend it. And uh, shalom and happy chess playing.